football soccer from wikipedia the free encyclopedia at en dot wikipedia dot org soccer redirects here for other uses see soccer disambiguation association football commonly known as football or soccer is a team sport played between two teams of 11 players each. It is widely considered to be the most popular sport in the world. Football is a ball game played on a rectangular grass or artificial turf field with a goal at each of the short ends. The object of the game is to score by maneuvering the ball into the opposing goal. In general play, the goalkeeper is the only player allowed to use their hands or arms to propel the ball. The rest of the team usually use their feet to kick the ball into position, while they may also occasionally use their torso or head to intercept the ball in midair. The team that scores the most goals by the end of the match wins. If the score is tied at the end of the game, either a draw is declared or the game goes into extra time and or a penalty shootout, depending on the format of the competition. The modern game was codified in England following the formation of the Football Association, whose 1863 laws of the game created the foundations for the way the sport is played today. Football is governed internationally by the Fédération Internationale de Football Association, International Federation of Association Football, which is commonly known by the acronym FIFA. The most prestigious international football competition is the World Cup, held every four years. This event the most widely viewed and famous in the world, boasts an audience twice that of the Summer Olympics. Nature of the Game Football is played in accordance with a set of rules known as the laws of the game. The game is played using a single round ball, the football, and two teams of 11 players each compete to get the ball into the other team's goal, thereby scoring a goal. The team that has scored more goals at the end of the game is the winner. If both teams have scored an equal number of goals, then the game is a draw. There are exceptions to this rule, however. See duration and tie-breaking methods below. The primary rule is that the players other than the goalkeepers, may not deliberately handle the ball with their hands or arms during play, though they do use their hands during a throw-in restart. Although players usually use their feet to move the ball around, they may use any part of their bodies other than their hands or arms. In typical gameplay, Players attempt to propel the ball toward their opponent's goal through individual control of the ball, such as by dribbling, passing the ball to a teammate, and by taking shots at the goal, which is guarded by the opposing goalkeeper. Opposing players may try to regain control of the ball by intercepting a pass or through tackling the opponent who controls the ball. However, physical contact between opponents is limited. Football is generally a free-flowing game, with play stopping only when the ball has left the field of play or when play is stopped by the referee. After a stoppage, play recommences with a specified restart. At a professional level, most matches produce only a few goals. For example, during the English 2005-2006 to season, 
of the FA Premier League, an average of 2.48 goals per match were scored. The laws of the game do not specify any player positions other than goalkeeper, but a number of player specializations have evolved. Broadly, these include three main categories, strikers or forwards, whose main task is to score goals, defenders, who specialize in preventing their opponents from scoring, and midfielders, who dispose the opposition and keep possession of the ball in order to pass it to the forwards. Players in these positions are referred to as outfield players in order to discern them from the single goalkeeper. These positions are further differentiated by which side of the field the player spends most time in. For example, there are central defenders and left and right midfielders. The ten outfield players may be arranged in these positions in any combination. For example, there may be four defenders, four midfielders, and two forwards, or three defenders, three midfielders, and four forwards. And the number of players in each position determines the style of the team's play. More forwards and fewer defenders would create a more aggressive and offensive-minded game, while the reverse would create a slower, more defensive style of play. While players may spend most of the game in a specific position, there are few restrictions on player movement, and players can switch positions at any time. The layout of the players on the pitch is called the team's formation, and defining the team's formation and tactics is usually the prerogative of the team's manager. History and Development See also Football and History of Football, Soccer Games revolving around the kicking of a ball have been in many countries throughout history. According to FIFA, the very earliest form of the game for which there is scientific evidence was an exercise of precisely this skillful technique dating back to the 2nd and 3rd centuries BC in China, the game of Kuju. In addition, the Roman game Harpastum may be a distant ancestor of football. Various forms of football were played in medieval Europe, though rules varied greatly by both period and location. Whilst football has continued to be played in various forms throughout the United Kingdom, the English public schools, fee-paying schools, are widely credited with certain key achievements in the creation of modern football, association football, and the rugby football games, rugby league, and rugby union football. During the 16th century, English public schools generally, and headmaster Richard Mulcaster in particular, were instrumental in taking football away from its violent mob form and turning it into an organized team sport that was beneficial to schoolboys. Thereafter, the game became institutionalized, regulated, and part of a larger, more central tradition. Many early descriptions of football and references to it, e.g. in poetry, were recorded by people who had studied at these schools, showing they were familiar with the game. Finally, in the 19th century, teachers and former students were the first to write down formal rules of early modern football to enable matches to be played between schools. The rules of football, as they are codified today, are based 
on the mid-19th century efforts to standardize the widely varying forms of football played at the public schools of England. The first ever set of football rules were written at Eton College in 1815. The Cambridge Rules were a code of football rules first drawn up at Cambridge University in 1848, which have influenced the development of association football and subsequent codes. The Cambridge Rules were written at Trinity College, Cambridge in 1848, at a meeting attended by representatives from Eton, Harrow, Rugby, Winchester, and Shrewsbury schools, but they were not universally adopted. During the 1850s, many clubs unconnected to schools or universities were formed throughout the English-speaking world to play various forms of football. Some came up with their own distinct codes of rules, most notably the Sheffield Football Club, formed by former pupils from Harrow in 1857, which led to the formation of the Sheffield FA in 1867. In 1862, John Charles Thring of Uppingham School also devised an influential set of rules. These ongoing efforts contributed to the formation of the Football Association, the FA, in 1863, which first met on the morning of 26 October 1863 at the Freemasons Tavern in Great Queen Street, London. The only school to be represented on this occasion was Charterhouse. The Freemasons Tavern was the setting for five more meetings between October and December, which eventually produced the first comprehensive set of rules. At the final meeting, the first FA treasurer, the representative from Blackheart, withdrew his club from the FA over the removal of two draft rules at the previous meeting, the first which allowed for the running with the ball in hand, and the second obstructing such a run by hacking, kicking an opponent in the shins, tripping and holding. Other English rugby football clubs followed this lead and did not join the FA, or subsequently left the FA and instead in 1871 formed the Rugby Football Union. The eleven remaining clubs under the charge of Ebenezer Cobb Morley went on to ratify the original thirteen laws of the game. These rules included handling of the ball by marks and the lack of a crossbar, rules which made it remarkably similar to Victorian rules football being developed at the time in Australia. The Sheffield FA played by its own rules until the 1870s when the FA absorbing some of its rules until there was little difference between the games. The laws of the game are currently determined by the International Football Association Board, IFAB. The board was formed in 1886, after a meeting in Manchester of the Football Association, the Scottish Football Association, the Football Association of Wales, and the Irish Football Association. The world's oldest football competition is the FA Cup, which was founded by C.W. Alcock and has been contested by English teams since 1872. The first official international football match took place in 1872 between Scotland and England in Glasgow, again at the instigation of C.W. Alcock. England is home to the world's first football league, which was founded in 1888 
by Austin Villa, director William McGregor. The original format contained 12 clubs from the Midlands and the north of England, the Fédération Internationale de Football Association, FIFA, the international football body, was formed in Paris in 1904 and declared that they would adhere to the laws of the game of the Football Association. The growing popularity of the international game led to the admittance of FIFA representatives to the International Football Association Board in 1913. The board currently consists of four representatives from FIFA and one representative from each of the four British associations. Today, football is played at a professional level all over the world, and millions of people regularly go to football stadia to follow their favorite team, whilst billions more watch the game on television. A very large number of people also play football at an amateur level. According to a survey conducted by FIFA and published in the spring of 2001, over 240 million people regularly play football in more than 200 countries in every part of the world. Its simple rules and minimal equipment requirements have no doubt aided its spread and growth in popularity. In many parts of the world, football evokes great passions and plays an important role in the life of individual fans local communities, and even nations. It is therefore often claimed to be the most popular sport in the world. ESPN has spread the claim that the Côte d'Avoir national football team helped secure a truce to the nation's civil war in 2005. By contrast, however, football is widely considered to be the final proximate cause in the football war in June 1969 between El Salvador and Honduras. The sport also exacerbated tensions at the beginning of the Yugoslav Wars of the 1990s when a match between Dynamo Zagreb and Red Star Belgrade devolved into rioting in March 1990. Laws of the Game there are 17 laws in the official laws of the game. The same laws are designed to apply to all levels of football, although certain modifications for groups such as juniors, seniors, or women are permitted. The laws are often framed in broad terms which allow flexibility in their application depending on the nature of the game. In addition to the 17 laws, numerous IFAB decisions and other directives contribute to the regulation of football. The laws can be found on the official FIFA website. Players, Equipment, and Officials See also Football, Soccer Positions, Formation Football, and kit football. Each team consists of a maximum of 11 players, excluding substitutes, one of whom must be the goalkeeper. Competition rules may state a minimum number of players required to constitute a team. This is usually seven. Goalkeepers are the only players allowed to play the ball with their hands or arms but they are only allowed to do so within the penalty area in front of their own goal. Though there are a variety of positions in which the outfield, non-goalkeeper players, are strategically placed by a coach, these positions are not defined or required by the laws. The basic equipment, kit, 
players are required to wear includes a shirt, shorts, socks, footwear, and adequate skin guards. Players are forbidden to wear or use anything that is dangerous to themselves or another player, including jewelry or watches. The goalkeeper must wear clothing that is easily distinguishable from that worn by the other players and the match officials. A number of players may be replaced by substitutes during the course of the game. The maximum number of substitutions permitted in most competitive international and domestic league games is three, though the number permitted may be varied in other leagues or in friendly matches. Common reasons for a substitution include injury, tiredness, ineffectiveness, the tactical switch, or as a defensive ploy to use up a little time at the end of a finely poised game. In standard adult matches, a player who has been substituted may not take further part in the match. A game is officiated by a referee who has full authority to enforce the laws of the game in connection with the match to which he has been appointed, Law 5, and whose decisions are final. The referee is assisted by two assistant referees. In many high-level games, there is also a fourth official, and in the World Cup, a fifth official, who assists the referee and may replace another official should the need arise. Pitch Main article Football pitch Due to the original formulation of the laws in England and the early supremacy of the four British football associations within IFAB, the standard dimensions of a football pitch or field were originally expressed in imperial units. The laws now express dimensions with approximate metric equivalents, followed by traditional units in brackets, though popular use tends to continue to use traditional units in English-speaking countries with a relatively recent history of metrification, such as Britain. The length of the pitch specified for international adult matches is in the range 100 to 110 meters, 110 to 120 yards, and the width is in the range 64 to 75 meters, 70 to 80 yards. Fields for non-international matches may be 100 to 130 yards length and 50 to 100 yards in width, provided that the pitch does not become square. The longer boundary lines are touch lines or side lines, while the shorter boundaries on which the goals are placed are goal lines. On the goal line at each end of the field, a rectangular goal is centered. The inner edges of the vertical goal posts must be 8 yards, 7.32 meters apart, and the lower edge of the horizontal crossbar, supported by the goal posts, must be 8 feet, 2.44 meters, above the ground. Nets are usually placed behind the goal, but are not required by the laws. In front of each goal is an area of the field known as the penalty area, colloquially 18-yard box, or simply the box. This area is marked by the goal line, two lines starting on the goal line, 18 yards, 16.5 meters, from the goal posts and extending 18 
16 meters into the pitch perpendicular to the goal line and a line joining them. This area has a number of functions, the most prominent being to mark where the goalkeeper may handle the ball and where a penal foul by a member of the defending team becomes punishable by a penalty kick. The field has various other markings and defined areas. Duration and tie-breaking methods. A standard adult football match consists of two periods of 45 minutes each, known as halves. Each half runs continuously, meaning that the clock is not stopped when the ball is out of play. The referee does, however, make allowance for time lost through significant stoppages as described below. There is usually a 15-minute halftime break between halves. The end of the match is known as full time. The referee is the official timekeeper for the match and may make an allowance for time lost through substitutions, injured players, requiring attention, or other stoppages. This added time is commonly referred to as stoppage time or injury time and is at the sole discretion of the referee. The referee alone signals the end of the match. In matches where a fourth official is appointed toward the end of the half, the referee signals how many minutes of stoppage time he intends to add and the fourth official then informs the players and spectators by holding up a board showing this number. The signaled stoppage time may be further extended by the referee. In league competitions, games may end in a draw, but in some knockout competitions, if a game is tied at the end of regulation time, it may go into extra time which consists of two further 15-minute periods. If the score is still tied after extra time, some competitions allow the use of penalty shootouts, known officially in the laws of the game as kicks from the penalty mark, to determine which team will progress to the next stage of the tournament. Goals scored during extra time periods count toward the final score of the game, but kicks from the penalty mark are only used to decide the team that progresses to the next part of the tournament, with goals scored in a penalty shootout not making up part of the final score. Competitions held over two legs in which each team plays at home once, may use the away goals rule to attempt to determine which team progresses in the event of equal aggregate scores. If the result is still equal following this calculation, kicks from the penalty mark are usually required, though some competitions may require a tied game to be replayed. In the late 1990s, the IFAB experimented with ways of making matches more likely to end without requiring a penalty shootout, which was often seen as an undesirable way to end a match. These involved rules ending a game in extra time early, either when the first goal in extra time was scored, golden goal, or if one team held a lead at the end of the first period of extra time, silver goal. Golden goal was used at the World Cup in 1998 France and 2002 Japan, South Korea. The first World Cup game decided by a golden goal 
was France's victory over Paraguay in 1998. In Euro 1996, Germany was the first nation to score a golden goal in a major competition, beating Czech Republic in the final. Silver goal was used in Euro 2004, Portugal. Both these experiments have been discontinued by IFAB.